In what can be a groundbreaking discovery in regards to milk thistle, or should an extract of milk thistle called psilobin, in its ability to treat Cushing's disease, Max Planck researchers did some detective work and came out with some amazing results utilizing psilobin, this extract from milk thistle. Now remember, let's keep in mind this is Cushing disease. Do not confuse it with Cushing syndrome. A Cushing's disease being the overproduction of adrenal corticotropin, ACTH for short, resulting in elevated blood pressure, metabolic disturbances, depression, etc., so on and so forth. So, let's look at the title of the research first, and then we'll proceed forward. The first public release title was Psilobin for Milk Thistle Seeds as a Novel Non-Evasive Treatment Strategy for Cushing's Disease. Citation title, which we printed below, was a little bit more complex, a C-terminal heat shock protein 90 inhibitor, you know what that is, restores glucocorticoid sensitivity and relieves a mouse allograph model of Cushing's disease published online in Nature, February 9th, 2015. Now keep in mind, this is what happened. Max Planck researchers didn't look at just the ACTH production itself. Yeah, they know that it was produced in excess, but what they wanted to do was look at why. And this is where psilocybin came into play. What they found out was there was an overproduction of the substance called heat shock protein 90. You don't have to know what it is, but there was a lot of it, and now is forcing the problems with the pituitary and the ACTH overproduction. Well, they looked at psilocybin for milk thistle, and the psilocybin for milk thistle had one simple action on this heat shock protein 90. It bound to it and then slowly dissolved it, alleviating the symptoms of Cushing's disease and allowing the adrenal corticotropin, ACTH hormone, to return back to normal levels. Now, to read from the research directly, this is what Max Planck researchers did, and this is their quotes, not mine. It is discovered in cell cultures, animal models, and human tumor tissue, remember this hasn't been done on living humans yet, that a harmless plant extract can be applied to treat Cushing's disease. Psilocybin is the major active constituent to milk thistle seeds, as we already went through. It has an outstanding safety parallel in humans. It's already used for, use, used for treatment of liver disease and poisoning. And this is published again in the Journal of Nature Medicine. After psilocybin treatment, this is their words again, not mine. This is quotes lifted directly from the study. After psilocybin treatment, tumor cells resume normal ACTH production. Tumor growth slowed down and symptoms of Cushing's disease disappeared in mice. So basically it brought things back to normal with this harmless substance. Now keep in mind, Max Planck researchers have got a little bit of a patent on this plant compound for Cushing's disease, but I'm just giving you a heads up that psilocybin is a major component of milk thistle. So they also wanted to use it for animals. 4% of dogs suffer from Cushing's disease and about 7% of horses. So they're also coming up with formulations potentially for animals. But let's proceed forward. So we found that the psilocybin binds to heat shock protein 90, thus allowing the glutocorticoid receptor molecules to dissolve the HSP90, as we discussed, allowing everything else to work normally. But here's a clue for future research possibly being done by Max Planck researchers. They said, not I, with psilocybin, we may have discovered a non-invasive treatment strategy for the rare Cushing disease, or not only, but for other conditions with the involvement of glut uh, glutocorticoid receptors, such as lung tumors, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or multiple myeloma. So keep in mind that milk thistle, well, actually, remember we did a long time ago, one of the studies in milk thistle, we showed it helped work with lung tumors, lung cancer itself. So it may evolve into far more things than just what we basically talk about in regards to Cushing disease. Dosages need to be determined, methods of delivery need to be determined, and a whole slew of other things. So this is just preliminary, but it's promising. And keep in mind, so promising, Max Planck researchers patented a large number of the plant compound itself. But in any case, I hope this helps. Before any treatment paradigms that you design or whatever it is, please discuss with a medical professional because I don't want you working in the dark. That's dangerous. Again, once again, Ralph Torciano signing off. And I hope this helps. If it helps, please like this because it may help other people too. Thank you.